Okay. This is, you see, you see, you see how many penyebok there are in every frame. Stop adding frames, uh, people. Five frames only. Tengok, who added this six frame? Yee, saya balik-balik, saya padamkan, terus ada orang yang pergi add frame, add frame ini. Hoi! We who got your explanation? Hiya. Huh? That's why who go erase? I uh, see. That's why I told you, guys, don't catch up. Ah, nanti ada orang akan terasa tau. Si Jacinta punya sudah kena erase. Don't know who go erase Jacinta punya kerja. Okay, Jennifer's one is safe for now. Jacinta, you are answering question H, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Tadi wah, kalau okay. Saya tulis balik mana ni question H. Just to make sure that I don't get the wrong letter. Okay, question G. Question G. Sembilan tambah tiga dua belas. Oh, gitu. Okay. Okay. Damir, lima apa? Lima ringgit. Selalu ini, selalu mesti anu. Okay, Mr. Balls, okay. okay. Orang yang sudah done, saya tick done lah. Okay, kalau tidak, susah ni. Okay, okay, sudah. Okay, Mr. Egg Balls. Uh, oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Nelson, stop disturbing. It's well said, Lester. Okay, I can see the answer at the end here, lah. Okay, but ah, it's so messy, ah. I don't know what you're doing. This one, okay, okay, fine. Stop adding frames, people. Oh my goodness. Okay, ini boleh sudah. Dia sudah tulis Om. Good. Okay, Jacinta punya. Ya, yeah, Jacinta punya okay sudah lah. Boleh lah. Saya kasih tick sajalah. Okay. Alright. So, everyone, I'm going to download this as PDF. Then you can copy it if you want lah. But actually, the notes are... I'm going to show you the notes anyway lah. Okay. So, let's come back to... Stop. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's come back to the slide lah. Oh, my goodness. Saya rasa seperti mengajar... Uh, okay, sorry, I'm going to stop the whiteboard. Otherwise, uh, sure the people will be... See, see, see. No. Masih lagi ada orang yang mencunting-cunting. Okay. Can I close the... Can I close the... Huh? I can't close the jam board. Uh, okay lah, paduli lah. Okay. So, coming back to this, uh, today we're going to continue uh, a little bit more about the calculation. Lah. Okay, so this is the answers that you've already given. Okay, these are in your notes. Can you see the slide? Yes, Anna? sir. <laughs> Melody sedang memasak kah itu? Okay, so... <laughs> Okay, so these are the answers that you got. Just to remind you uh, that resistance, when we count resistance, when we count uh, current, when we count uh, voltage, everything kind, we try not to use uh, fraction. Okay, we usually use uh, decimal points. Lah. Okay, so yeah. All right. So uh, now we're going to combine everything that we've learned. So previously, yeah, when we looked at the, the this one, right, we were looking at the series circuit. Okay, then kita cakap macam mana the voltage and the current uh, is different from the series and the parallel circuit. So now we're going to combine both. Okay, we're going to refer very heavily to uh, Ohm's law. Okay, Ohm's law we states that V equals to IR. So this example is actually in your this one. Okay, so when the switch is closed, calculate the effective resistance R. So kau kira dia punya R dahulu. Okay, then the current flowing through the two ohm resistor. Okay, so this is two ohms, this is uh, four ohms, and this is 12 ohms. Okay, two ohms, four ohms, 
and 12 ohms. So they are asking how much is the current flowing through here and the potential difference across it. So if you look at the working, uh, okay, uh, if you look at the working, we have to we have to remember that in the whole circuit, the arrows, sorry, the arrows pull out, the current is the same, okay, but the voltage is divided uh, between the six volts and this one. So how do you know how much current flows through here? Okay, is you take the six volts, then you divide by uh, the total voltage, the effective resistance. Okay, the effective resistance is five. Actually, the oh, sorry, the if hold on. Okay, the effective <laughs> resistance, uh, okay, the effective resistance is five. This plus this plus this. Okay, so one over four plus one over twelve, you get three. Then three plus two, you get five. Uh. Okay, so in order to calculate the total current, okay, I have to take these six volts and then I will divide by the total resistance. So over here will be 1.2 amps. But when I come over here, this volt, this current and this current will be different, but it will be total of 1.2 amps. Okay, remember our current here, berpecah itu. Okay, when it goes into a parallel circuit. Okay, so we can calculate we can calculate the voltage across this resistor, okay, by using V equals to I R Ohm's law. Okay, so you get one point two, which is the current flowing here, multiplied by the uh, resistance, okay, which is two ohm. That's why the CD they to list two ohm like that. Okay, so. Uh, whenever you have a slightly more complicated question like this, uh, you have to consider uh, what is the total voltage, what is the total current, what is the total uh, resistance, okay? And then after that, you then consider uh, the individual individual, okay? In or for a series circuit, in order to count the voltage, you have to know how much current is flowing first. In a parallel circuit, is the balik. Okay, so uh, question C, uh, Question C, this is the current flowing through the 4 ohm and the 12 ohm resistors and the potential difference across them respectively. Okay, so if you take a look at the answer given, okay, so we know that over here, okay, the current flowing is 1.2 amps. Okay, but we know that when it comes over here, it will split. Okay, the 1.2 amps are can split, but the voltage here will be the same. Chuma. This six volts uh, is from point to point bar. all the way here is six volts. So kalau di sini kita sudah kira dia adalah 2.4 volts. Okay, from the previous question. Uh, okay, so you know that over here V2 and V3 must be the remaining. Enam tolak 2.4, you get 3.6 volts. Okay, because in a parallel circuit, the voltage is equal. Okay, in a series circuit, the current is equal. So then, because of that, we know now that the voltage is uh, 3.6. So we can calculate the, uh, the, the, the current lah, okay, using V equals to IR. So I equals to V over R. V is the voltage, which is 3.6. Notice that in both the resistance, the voltage is the same because it is a parallel circuit. The only thing that is different now is going to be the current. One is going to be 0 0.9, another is going to be 0 0.3. Let's say uh, you already calculate this 0 0.9. Okay, you can also get, oh, okay, so that means I3 equals to 1.2 minus 0 0.9. Because we know that the whole thing flows is 1.2. This plus this is 1.2. So if you know that R2 uh, is already 0 0.9, so dia punya baki 0 0.3 mestilah melalui R3. Current splits in a parallel circuit. Voltage splits in a series circuit. Okay, current is the same in the uh, series circuit. Voltage is the same in the parallel circuit. Okay, they are selling terbalik. So be very careful with this. So this is the tricky part, lah, okay, about calculation that involves uh, resistance. Okay, so same thing, uh, take a look at this one. 
Okay, let's consider everything. First of all, the one is the whole thing is five volts. Okay, you can calculate the reef, the effective resistance. Okay, this answer is already in the textbook, so I'm just gonna go through it. Lah. Before plus four plus how much is this lah? Okay, so ini dia punya penjelasan sangat panjang, so I'm going to cut short. It's just going to be 10. Okay, you guys have done practice last week uh, for effective resistance, so I'm not going to waste time. When you calculate everything, you get the effective resistance is 10. So I can calculate my current flowing through here using V equals to IR. Okay, resistance is 10, current is 5, so my, uh, sorry, uh, potential difference is 5, so my current will be 0 0.5 amps. Okay. But the C question is the tricky one. The potential difference across the points A to B, over here and over here. Okay, so this is the this is the this one. We know that the total voltage is five volts. So I want to know how much voltage is flowing through here. Okay, and that's where uh, we can always use this lah. If the resistance R two, okay, if I combine everything over here. This resistance uh, is 2 ohms, the parallel circuit. Okay, so I will get R2. The current flowing is the same. Okay, so I can calculate the potential difference by using V equals to IR. Okay, the current flowing is 2, sorry, is 0 0.5 amps. Here is 0 0.5 amps, here is 0 0.5 amps. Here is all 0 0.5 amps because in a series circuit is the same. Cuma separately, they are kind of lying, lah, but we're not talking about that. I want to know what is my voltage here. Okay, so voltage is current times resistance. Then you get one volt. Okay, so the tricky part, lah, I would say, lah, the tricky part about electricity questions, lah, rintangan, or, or sorry, resistance questions, lah, is trying to remember, oh, okay, how does voltage work and how does current work? Okay, so uh, it's always good to remind yourself, lah. Okay, series circuit current is the same. Voltage is divided. Parallel circuit is the same. Okay, that's the main thing that you need to take away from this. Okay, let's try question number four in your in your module, which I don't have. Can you calculate question A first? Calculate the effective resistance of the circuit. Okay, and tell me how much is the effective resistance of the circuit, uh, Louis? Is it the 12? Mm, okay, it will be 12 ohms lah. Because it's a series circuit, very easy. 2, 4, and 6. Okay, so 2 plus 4 plus 6 will give you 12. Okay, so how about the current in the circuit? Remember, uh, total current equals to the total voltage divided by the total resistance. Okay, uh, how much is the total current? Um, uh, is Oswald here? Oswald lah. Uh, anybody? How much is the total current for the circuit? Is it 0 0.5? Okay, 0 0.5 amps lah. Okay, the total voltage divided by the total uh, resistance. Okay, but because this is a series circuit, so the potential difference will be different. Cuma kita tahu, V1 plus V2 plus V3 uh, all together will be equals to 6. So since you are calculating the individual voltage, you have to take the individual uh, resistance, but the current is the same. The current is always 0 0.5 here. Okay, sini is 0 0.5 amps, sini is 0 0.5 amps, sini is 0 0.5 amps because it is a series circuit. Okay, so it is uh, exactly the same. All right, Michelle, can you tell me the three values V1, V2, V3, please? It's only one formula huh, which is V equals the IR only. I've given you the I, I've given you the R. All you have to do is just calculate and make sure that the total voltage is 6. Oh, oh, um, 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 uh, V1 is 1. Okay, V2. V2 is 2, V3 is 3. All right, okay, V3 is 3 volts. Okay, notice, huh? 1 plus 2 plus 3, all equals to 6 volts. Series circuit, the voltage is divided and must be equal to how much voltage is being supplied. And then makes sense lah, kan? How can you have, let's say, 1 plus 2 plus 3, then the, the battery and kamu supply kan is only 4 volts. It doesn't make sense. It cannot be. It must be the same. Now, another thing that I want you to notice uh, is that, look at the relationship. Uh, 
between the voltage and the resistance. The bigger the resistance, uh, the more energy you need okay, to pass through this resistor. Okay, and this is a very important thing to take note. The bigger your resistance, the bigger the voltage that you need. Okay, the bigger the voltage is lah. in a series circuit. Okay, in a series circuit, lah, makin banyak rintangan, semakin besar voltan. Because remember, voltage lah, is the amount of energy that you need to take one charge from one point to another. Okay, so you have a lot of resistance, lah, then you're going to need a lot of energy. Lah. Okay, just like, have you ever tried swimming in the water and swimming in the air? It's a very stupid example, but when you swim in the water, kan, okay, after half an hour of swimming in the water, you feel very tired, lah, kan? Because there's this all this resistance in the water, lah. You try swimming in the air for half an hour, no problem. <laughs> I know it. Okay, it looks stupid, lah, but you know, just swim in the air for half an hour, because there's very little resistance in the air, so you don't need so much energy, lah. Okay, okay, now this is not a very good example, lah, but. Basically, that's it. Lah, you know? The more resistance you have, the more resistance you supply, uh, the more voltage you need, the more energy you need uh, to make the current flow. Okay, so whenever you do calculation, uh, you need to think about whether it makes sense or not. Okay, you need resistance dua, the voltage is 1. You sign resistance apart, the voltage is 2. Resistance is 6, voltage is 3. Does this make sense or not? Okay, of course it makes sense lah, because the smaller the resistance, the, the less energy you need to pass through the, this one. Okay, to pass through the resistance. Okay, all right, good job. Let's take a look at another one. Astaga. <laughs> okay, 8 ohm resistor and uh, 12 ohm resistor are connected with a uh, 12 volt battery. What is the potential difference across? Okay, sorry, uh, this one is, uh, oh, is given to you in the this one, right? Okay, so this is 8 ohms and this one is 12 ohms. Okay, what am I drawing? Oh no, sorry. <laughs> okay, 8 ohms and 12 ohms. We have the battery over here and this is 12 volts. Okay, so same thing. What is the potential difference across the 8 ohm resistor? Before you do anything, the first thing you must count is the effective resistance. You must count the effective resistance first because if you don't have the effective resistance, you don't have the current. Okay, so can you calculate the effective resistance and the current for me, please, uh, Mordecai? How much is the effective resistance and how much is the current flowing in this circuit? Effective resistance is 20 ohms. Okay, 20 ohms. The current? Zero point six amps. How do you get zero point six? Twelve over twenty. Okay, twelve over twenty. Ah, uh, so you get zero point six amps. Astaga, sorry, amps. <laughs> okay, so once you have the total resistance, you can calculate the total current. Once you have the total current in a series circuit, okay. Remember, in a series circuit, you must count first uh, the thing that is the same, okay, which is the current. Okay, then only you can count the potential difference across the 8 ohm and across the 12 ohm. Okay, can I have Irdina for question A? Uh, give me the potential difference across the 8 ohm resistor and Isabella for the 12 ohm resistor. How much is the current? Sorry, how much is the potential difference across the 8 ohm and 12 ohm resistor? Bear in mind uh, that the smaller the resistor, the smaller the voltage. That is what you're aiming for. Four point eight volts. Okay, four point eight volts. Uh, for the eight. Sorry, four point eight volt. Oh, V equals to I R. So zero. Okay, fine. So Isabella, how much is the twelve ohms? Coffee is finished. 7.2 volts. Okay, 7.2 volts. Very good. So, for question B, uh, there are actually two ways to count this. Lah. For question A, it is obvious. Lah. Okay, you have to use V equals to IR. 
Okay, so V equals to IR, you know that the I is 0 0.6 and then the R is 8. So you get 4.8 volts. Lah. Tapi kan, question B, you can use, okay, uh, 0 0.6 amps times 12. Okay, you get this. Or, since you know that the total voltage is 12 volts, you just 12 minus 4.8 and you will get 7.2. Because there's only one more resistor left. Lah. Okay, if there's another resistor over here, then line chara lah. But there's only two resistance. So 4.8 volts must be here and 7.2 volts must be here. So that all together it will be 12 volts. Okay, of uh, 12 volts of voltage. And come back to the logic behind this lah. Smaller resistance, smaller voltage. Bigger resistance, bigger voltage. Okay, we must always check for this. Because it must make sense. The calculation must make sense to us. Okay, when we calculate this. All right, good. Let's ignore this. Okay, let's go to parallel circuit. Now, parallel circuit, now remember, voltage is the same. Okay, so the good news is, if this is 6 volts, this also 6 volts, this also 6 volts, this also 6 volts. No need to think. Okay, the whole thing is 6 volts all the way. The only one that changes uh, is the I again. Okay, it's always the I. So, we can calculate the potential difference across each resistor. No need to even calculate. It's always 6 volt. Okay, follow the this one. Okay, right. Take some time, calculate the effective resistance, and then I will call somebody. Okay, everyone count first effective resistance. Okay, of this arrangement, and then I will call somebody. Those of you yang saya panggil sudah, you can relax lah, I guess. Except for Wilson and Iqbal. I want to call Wilson and Iqbal again sometime. So, Wilson and Iqbal, tolong kira, how much is the effective resistance? Um, is it 1.09? 1.09. Let's double check lah. Okay lah, about 1.1 lah. You should use 1.09. I think that's a better idea. Okay, go ahead and use 1.09 lah if you want. Okay, but the answer over here, they're using 1.1. That's good enough. Okay, so let's calculate the current in the circuit, which is this one, uh, the main current. Okay, remember, main current equals to main voltage divided by uh, total resistance. So the total resistance, you already counted 1.1. Okay, and so our voltage is 6. So we will get 6 divided by 1.1. So the main current is 5.5 amps. So over here is 5.5 amps. That is going to be divided I1, I2, I3, okay, according to the resistor. Okay, so use the formula V equals to IR again, okay, except that now our R is different, our V is all the same lah, okay, V is all 6 volt, 6 volt, 6 volt. Cuma kita punya R sahaja yang berlainan. Okay, calculate I1, I2, and I3, and let me know the answer. Uh, I will call somebody later. Calculate first, please. Three. Sorry, I, who is speaking? I'm Brandon. Okay, I3 is? I3 is 1M. Okay, I3 is 1M. I2, I1? I2, 2.5M. Okay, 2.5M. I1? Sorry, I didn't understand. Three. Ah. Oh, something is wrong, kan? 1M plus 2.5M plus 3M is not equal to 5.5M. What happened? <laughs> oh, what happened? Siapa yang silap ini? Oh, 1.5, 1.5. Ah, 1.5 amps, huh? 6 divided by 4, okay, it's 1.5 amps. So, huh, you must make sure, you know, when you calculate this, huh, you have to think logically. If it is a series circuit, the voltage must add up. If it is a parallel circuit, huh, the current must add up. Okay, but the first steps huh, always remain the same. Okay, always count the effective resistance and then count the current. Okay, before you do the splitting part. Okay, so always do that. Huh? Alright, good job. <sighs> Okay, now let's continue and now we're going to do the complicated one. Lah. Okay, this is question number five. Ah. Sorry, ah, I don't know what is wrong with this slide. Lah. Question number five in this one. Okay, 
uh, and let's uh, take a look at this. So, what is the reading of the m meter a? Okay. Now remember, if you want to find the main reading, you have to first calculate the effective resistance. Okay. So once again, calculate the effective resistance and then calculate the main current. Voltage supply is three volts. Okay. Go ahead. Try and do it first. <laughs> okay. Yes. Sorry. The current is. The current is 0 0.5 amps. 0 0.5 amps, okay. Effective resistance, Elijah. Should be 0 0.5. Huh? 1 over 3 plus... 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6. Okay. Plus 1 over 4. Why plus 1 over 4? This is parallel, you know. 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 is correct. Okay, you will get uh, 4 over 6. No, 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 no. Ini dulu. Kamu kena kira ini dulu. 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 is 4 over 6. Or 2 over 3 lah. Fine, fine, fine. 2 over 3 lah. Okay. Tapi, 2 over 3 ini adalah 1 per R. So, what is the R over here? You have to tabalikkan this. The R is 1.5. Then only you tambah these two. Okay, so you will actually get the effective resistance is 5.5 uh, ohms. Okay, 1 per 3 tambah 1 per 6 is only for this. Then you have to tabalikkan to find the R for this. And then this and this kamu campur. Okay, 1.5. Eh, ah, yalah, kerana so, 1.5 plus 4. So, bukan 1 over 2 kah? 1 over 2? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. 3 over 6. 1 over 2. So, it's 2. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. 2 ohms. Okay. So, this would be... The effective resistance would be 6 ohms. Yeah, 6 ohms. Okay. So, then you can calculate the current. Okay, using V equals to IR, V is 3, my total resistance is 6. So my current will be, 3 divided by 6 will be 0 0.5 amps. Lah. Okay, remember everybody, calculating effective resistance ah, adalah yang paling penting. Okay, you cannot calculate it simultaneously. Kamu buat part by part. Okay, kalau ada parallel, kamu buat parallel dulu, baru series. Kalau ada series, kamu buat series dulu, baru parallel. Depending on the situation lah. Okay, what is the potential difference across the parallel network, which is this one? Okay, let me just write now. The reading of the emitter uh, I equals to 0 0.5. So the question is how much is the uh, potential difference over here? Okay, so in order to count the potential difference over here, you have to calculate this resistance only. Because, uh, okay, there are a few ways to do this lah. You can calculate the voltage in here because you know that the the current is the same. Here is 0 0.5, so here also is 0 0.5, here also is 0 0.5. So I can calculate the voltage from here, okay, which is 2 volts. And 4 times 0 0.5, V equals to IR, huh? V equals to IR, I is 0 0.5, R is 4. So 4 times 0 0.5 is 2 volts. So, kalau sini adalah 2 volts, this one has to be 1 volt lah. Because the total is 3 volts lah. Okay, that's one way of counting it lah. Another way is, you calculate the resistance of this. The total resistance, 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3. So, you get this resistance is 0 0.5. So, resistance 0 0.5, uh, current is 0 0.5. E, hold on. 0 0.5 times 2. What is the potential difference across the network? Hold on now, hold on now. Across the parallel network. Sorry, uh, is this 0 0.5 or uh, the resistance? 
What is wrong with me? Sorry, sorry, sorry. The resistance is too right. Am I talking to myself? Satu per enam bahagi satu per tiga. Yeah, yeah, it's two. Oh, okay, it's two, it's two, it's two. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so two times zero point five is one volt. Mm. So there are two ways of counting this lah. Kamu kira the voltage here, then you minus, or you calculate the resistance here, then you multiply with the same current. Okay, it's also possible. Okay, what is the current flowing through the six ohm resistor, which is just this one nah? Okay, so this one is slightly different. Okay, this is 0 0.5 amps, but over here, we know that the 0 0.5 amps, they are can split. Okay, they are can split. Sini adalah 6 ohms, sini adalah 3 ohms. And since we know that the voltage here is 1 volt, so we can calculate how much is the, uh, is the current lah. Okay, V equals to IR. V is 1 volt. I is, we don't know. And the R is 6 ohms. Okay, so you will get a total of 0 0.17 amps. So if here is 0 0.17 amps, you know what is the bulky for here? Lah. This will be 0 0.33 amps. Okay, and this is where I want to show you a very important thing. Look at the difference again uh, between the voltage, uh, sorry, between the current and the resistance. Okay, just now I said uh, the bigger the resistance, the bigger, sorry, the bigger the voltage you need to flow across. Right? But in terms of resistance and current, uh, the bigger your resistance, the smaller the current that flows through. The current that flows through is more because there's a lot of resistance mass, so only a little bit of current can flow through. Okay, and these are two very important relationships, huh, which we will talk about after the holidays lah, when we do the experiment. Lah. But something that you should take note, lah, okay, that actually when we talk about electricity, yeah, it it is really uh, like electricity, it, it is really like uh it is really like a river flowing. Huh? If you have a lot of resistance, uh, you need a lot of energy to go through that resistance. But the problem is, when you have a lot of resistance, only a little bit can flow. And because there's so much resistance, so the current flow is very small. Okay, and the balik lah, kalau dia adalah less resistance. Less resistance means you don't need so much energy. Okay, because the water can just flow just like that. Okay, they akan berjalan sendiri due to the potential difference. Okay, so for today, uh, I want you to do these last three questions as your homework, except that I want to change this question a little bit. Lah. Okay, I want you to, for all three circuits, uh, okay, for all three circuits, I want you to calculate the effective resistance. Okay, calculate the effective resistance, calculate the current flow, okay, in the whole circuit okay means uh, even in example b and example c let's say i put an m meter over here and an m meter over here i want to know what is the value of this it's a current flow in the whole circuit okay and then thirdly calculate the potential difference across each resistor Okay, and finally, current across each resistor. Okay, so that means, uh, for example, question A, if you have three, uh, if you have three uh, resistors, okay, your you will have three different potential differences. I mean, sorry, you have three values of potential difference and three values of current. Okay, in question C, you have one, two, three, four resistors. So you need to have four answers here and then four answers here. Okay, each circuit, uh, setiap satu liter, I want you to answer all these four. Calculate the effective resistance, calculate the current flow in the entire circuit, calculate the potential difference across each resistor. Okay, so uh, saya cadangkan kamu label, uh, okay, label as A, B, C. This is A. B, C, 
the good news is B and C is the same resistance, so you get the same something answer. Okay, this is A, B, C, and D. Okay, label your resistance that way, and then calculate the potential difference and the current across each resistor. Okay, dan hantar sebelum hari 